Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to what should be a quick little update video on the Ultimate Custom Night console ports. So, a couple days ago, Click Team released the controls for Ultimate Custom Night on the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Switch. So we're going to be taking a look at those controls because I know a lot of you guys are excited for those ports and I am too. But before we hop into the controls, a uh, quick little reminder, when it does release on the Nintendo Switch, we will be streaming it. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe. I mean, it's free and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. So. Let's take a look at the controls. So the first one we have here are the controls for the PS4. Now bear with me because I am not as familiar with the PS4 controller as I am with the Xbox and Switch one, so bear with me on that. But here we go. So the left button on the controller will open up your monitor and the right button allows you to put on and off your mask. I'm still not a huge fan of the monitor and the mask buttons being swapped because in game they're they're swapped so i don't like their controls being swapped but i'm sure hopefully it's not going to cause too much difficulties so the top button on the d-pad closes the forward vent the left button closes the left door the right button closes the right door and the down button closes the side vent pretty straightforward i think that's perfect left stick uh will turn everything off i think that's another nice one the start button you hold that to go back to the menu pretty simple y button changes the music the B button cancels everything. Oh wait, what? So I don't know why they <laughs> subtitled these buttons like this, but um, <laughs> Y, B, A, and X should be triangle, circle, cross, and uh, square. So I don't know why those are titled like that. Anyway, so the triangle button uh, changes the music. The circle button cancels everything or just cancels out of something. I'm not sure what it means by cancels if, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, maybe cancel the call, mute the call, um, I don't really know, <laughs> that's, that's a strange one. Um, the cross will, uh, use the flashlight, and the square catches the fish, closes the ad, and winds the music box. That one I see having some difficulties, if you're on the camera winding the music box, and then, um, you gotta catch a fish, that one might be a bit complicated to do, but usually, um, if we're thinking about 50-20, you're not gonna be winding the music box, so I think people should be fine with that. Maybe the cancel button is like the select? I don't know, I'm, I'm still trying to think about what that could be. Anyways, let's move on. So the right stick um, turns on and off the desk fan, okay? And I'm guessing the sticks, you can just use one to look around. I mean, that's pretty simple. Okay, so the left trigger and up or down on the D-pad is where you have your power gen, silent ventilation, the heater, the power AC, the globe music box, and all off. I don't know how difficult that is going to be because, again, I'm not experienced with the PS4 controller, so PS4 players, is that good? <laughs> you know, leave your feedback in the comments below. So the cursor and A button will use the right trigger and select with left analog. Okay, so I'm guessing it's gonna be kind of like what we had on the phone, where when you have your finger on the screen, it will, you know, you'll have a cursor now. So I'm guessing when you use the, um, the left analog, I'm guessing, will be the cursor, and then you have the A button to select things, and then the right trigger will also select things. That's what I'm gathering from that, and it looks like that's only for the camera system, which is pretty nice. So that is the PS4 controller. Now we're going to move on to the Xbox One controller. Okay, so Xbox One, here we go. The left bumper pulls up the monitor and the right bumper uses the mask. Same exact layout as the PS4 one. The left stick turns everything off. Uh, by the way, I don't think I've mentioned this, but you can press down on the sticks, by the way. If there are non-console players, when it says all off for the stick, you can push on the sticks, so that's what it means. D-pad looks to be the exact same. Top D-pad closes the forward vent, left D-pad closes the left door, right closes the right door, and down closes the side vent. The menu returns to the menu again. 
Um, the Y button, change music, B, cancel, A, flashlight, X, catch fish, close ad, and Y in the music box. Pushing down on the right stick will turn on and off the desk fan. And then left trigger and up or down on the D-pad. Again, you got power gen, solid ventilation, heater, power AC, glow music box, and all off. And then the monitor is the exact same as the PS4 one. Use the cursor and A button or the right trigger and select with left analog. Oh wait, maybe I got that wrong. So you use the cursor by moving around the the stick and A button or use right trigger and select with the left analog. <laughs> Am I stupid? Oh, I don't I understand what's what they're saying. I think it's use the cursor and the A button or use the right trigger and the analog stick, the left analog. I don't freaking know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having such difficulty with that direction. This is exactly the same as the PS4 controller. They just kind of swapped out the model, so... Yeah, moving on to the Nintendo Switch now. Okay, so this Switch is being held in handheld mode, but it's gonna work the exact same, I'm sure, uh, when you have it as the actual controllers. I'm guessing there's no way, no how, in the history of ever that you can play Custom Night with only one Joy-Con, so I'm pretty sure two are gonna be required. I don't know if it's going to let you play with a Pro Controller. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. That's a question to ask Click Team. So everything looks to be the exact same. You got the left button, use the monitor. The right button, use the mask. Uh, press down to the left stick, you turn everything off. The up button closes the forward vent, left button closes the left door, right button closes the right door, down button closes the vent, or the side vent, sorry. The plus button returns to the menu, X, catch fish, close add, wine music box. Okay, so things are flipped here, which is interesting. A, flashlight, B, cancel, Y, change music. Pressing down on the right stick turns the, uh, turns the fan on and off. And then you have ZL button and up or down button. And that gives you the power gen, silent vents, uh, heater, power AC, glow music box all off. It's the exact same thing, just with different <laughs> uh, different labels for the different controls, the different buttons on the controllers. So here you got use the cursor and the A button, or use the ZR button and select with left stick. And that is all of the controls. Now I don't know, they have yet to release a official release date for these uh, ports, but I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look up because we did get uh, Ultimate Custom Night mobile controls and then after some time we got the actual game. So if I can find out what that gap of time was, maybe we can make a rough estimate. But you also have to keep in mind that they're still working on Sister Location and Pizza Sim for consoles. Okay, so we got the shortcut buttons for UCN Mobile on March 9th, and then we got the actual port released for iOS and Android on April 29th. God, how have I... I've already forgotten. April 28th. That's a little under two months. So, one or two months, I would say. So pretty soon. So keep an eye out. I would expect uh, maybe they're going to release more information, a couple screenshots. They definitely are going to release a trailer, I'm pretty sure, because that's what they've done for um, all the other ports. Maybe they're going to release a trailer for the console ports. I'm not entirely sure, but I would say one or two months, we can expect the console ports for Ultimate Custom Night, which is really exciting. I'm, I'm really excited to play it. So we kind of already stopped playing UCN Mobile because we got 8,000 points and from that point onward the game's not really fun anymore you know it's kind of lost its charm all that's left to do is either go for the silver statue and get 9,000 or just go to 5020 and try to beat it um so yeah we're not having the best of times with UCN mobile but it's fine you know we, we got a good like three episodes out of it so yeah I am really excited hopefully you guys are too if there are any PS4 uh, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch owners out there, tell me what you guys think of these controls in the comments down below. Because I do not own a PS4 or an Xbox One, so I need you guys' help. Are these good controls? Do you guys wish they were slightly different? What do you guys think? But that's gonna be it for me in this video. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.